Hello everyone and welcome to the best reptile strategies for Mortal Kombat 9. Let us begin. I'm going to list 5 openers. These will be the most common buttons that open the opponent up. Down 3, an 8 frame low, negative 6 on block, plus 4 on hit. Next up is down 4 for the range. At a 12 frame startup, it is great for the distance it covers. It also causes reptiles hurt boxes to go super low and is usually always cancelled into acid hand which is negative 4 on block. The 3 2 1 string is the most common string to start with. It goes into the BNBs and can even avoid counter pokes at the right distance because the 3 is like a high lunge kick and on a side note it has 13 frames of startup. These next ones I'm going to list are a little more tricky. The 1 2 2 string is two highs followed by an overhead. The full string 1 2 2 1 ending with another overhead has a decent conversion which I'll get into later. You can mix up the end by canceling into the slide to get a low in there. For example, 1 2 2 into the slide after conditioning 1 2 2 1. Another side note, 1 has 11 frames of startup or execution frames. The forward 2 back 1 has great range with the forward 2 being a little slower at 15 frames. The second part of forward 2 back 1 hits overhead so it can still be mixed up like the 1 2 2 1 string. So for example, you can commit to the string or you can do a forward 2 into the slide and although it is unsafe is a great conditioning tool. So let's get into how to melt the opponent's health bar. Now it's time to showcase the conversions from those openers. Meterless combos, mid-screen, corner, and meter use. There's not much to say here so I'm just going to show the conversions. This next combo is the most common 3-2-1 conversion. I'm showing most of the combos with the jump and punch and I'll just tell you what the notations are. 3-2-1, back forward 2, neutral jump punch, fast force ball. 3-2, slow force ball. 3-2-1, slide. Okay, so here we go. Jump in punch, 3, 2, 1, back forward 2. Neutral jump punch, dash forward, standing 2, back back 3. 3, 2, back back 1. 3, 2, 1, slide, which is back forward 4. This next one is kind of just for fun because it doesn't work so great on all characters but it starts the same it just has a standing 4 into the fast force ball and then 3-2 slow force ball 3-2-1 slide. So now we're getting into spending a little bit of meter on this combo. After the neutral jump punch and the dash forward into the standing four, it's still the fast force ball, three, two, meter burn, slow force ball, three, two, one, back, forward, four. The opportunity is not going to present itself often when you'll spend two bars of meter, but after the standing four, you could meter burn fast force ball, standing four, meter burn slow force ball, three, two, one, back four, four. This would be for like the kill. So this is a combo that you won't see often in competitive play, but if you wanted to style on your opponent and you had all of this meter to spend, you could do the 4 into fast force ball, 4 into x-ray, and it does pretty decent damage. It's really just kind of something that looks cool though.
It's honestly just a good idea to keep most combos meterless if you can. And there's no better place than the corner to uh, not have to spend meter and still get decent damage. As you can see, we've made it up to 45% without having to use meter. It's the same start to the combo, except you can do the standing four into the fast force ball, and then three, two, one into the slow force ball. It ends with three, two, one, back forward four. So if you wanted to not have to do the neutral jump punch in the corner, you could do 3-2-1, down back 2, 3-2-1, fast force ball, 3-2-1, slide, and it's a little bit easier. It's not great to spend a whole lot of meter in the corner, but if you've got a jump and punch, three, two, one, meter burn, down back two, you can standing four into fast force ball, three, two, one, slow force ball, three, two, one, back forward four, and that's an easy 50%. It's not really worth it to spend more than one bar in the corner. So now let's go over the one, two, two into force ball. This combo has a neutral jump punch with 3-2 in the slow force ball, 3-2-1 slide is the ender. It hurts 37 with the jumping punch. Again, without a neutral jump punch, fast force ball into 3-2 slow force ball, 3-2-1 slide. Mega ball, or the meter burn force ball on block, is actually plus. So 1-2-2 two, two into a meter burn force ball allows for some pressure situations afterwards. And the conversion is going to remain the same. You can up the damage a little bit with the 1-2-2 two, two meterless combo in the corner. 1-2-2, two, two, back back 3, neutral jump punch, 4, back back 1, 3-2-1, back forward 4, which again is slide. An easier conversion would be to just do the same thing that you do mid-screen, which is 1-2-2, two, two, back back 3, 3-2, three, back back 1, 3-2, three, two, 1, back forward 4. If you decide to fully commit to the string being 1-2-2-1, two, two, one, you actually have enough time to forward dash and get a 4-2 back 1. After this, this allows some good setup options with a good hit advantage and force ball variations. Mid screen, you can't squeeze a whole lot of damage out of the 1 2 2 1 string, but you can do this jump in, punch, 1 2 2 1, forward dash, forward 2, back forward 4. The best way to convert out of the 1221 mid screen is actually to use a bar of meter. So it's 1221 forward dash forward 2 back back 3 with meter 32 back back 1 321 back forward 4. The 1-2-2-1 string really shines in the corner, so let's go over some notations. Jump and punch, 1-2-2-1. Neutral jump punch, 4. Fast force ball, which is back back 3. 3-2-1, three, back back 1. Slow force ball. 3-2-1, back forward 4.
sacrificing a little bit of damage, but taking the neutral jump punch out, you can one, two, two, one, two, back, back, three, three, two, one, back, back, one, three, two, one, back, forward, four. To make this combo even easier, you could just do a standing one instead of a standing two. So like this, jump in, punch, one, two, two, one, standing one into fast force ball, three, two, one, slow force ball, three, two, one, slide. The one, two, two, one string is actually not that bad on block. Although it's negative 10, it actually provides a little bit of pushback, which makes it a little safer. The forward two back one string causes the opponent to fall super fast. So mid screen, you can really just get a conversion like a slide afterwards if you wanted to get some damage. Also, it's best to not really use meter on this string due to the scaling. Just like the 1 2 2 1 string, this string shines in the corner. Jump and punch, forward 2 back 1, standing 1, 3 2 1, back back 3, 3 2 1, back forward 4. If you're trying to go hard mode, Ophidian style, then you can do jump and punch, forward two, back one, two, three, two, one, back, back, three, three, two, one, slide for a little bit more damage. The reptilian elbow is great as like a corner escape. So this combo would be back, forward, two, meter burn, three, two, back back three three two one back back one three two one back forward four so here's a variant that hurts two percent less but has back four two meter burn down one three two one back back three Three, two, one, back, four, four. I showed that combo because I wanted to get into using some meter. Um, although this is going to be very expensive, you would just really do it for the kill. This looks like back, four, two, meter burn, down one, three, two, one, down, back, two, meter burn, four, back, back, three, meter burn, three, two, one, back, four, four. Okay, I wanted to show you guys something that's going to happen a lot because opponents are going to be jumping and you're going to be pressing 3, 2, 1. So here's a little conversion out of it. It looks like this. 3, 2, 1, back, 4, 2, down, 1, back, back, 3, meter burn. 3, 2, 1, back, 4, 4. Okay, so next let's get into pressure. Pressure is great to frame trap the opponent so they press buttons off block advantage, but also just getting them to block in correctly. Standing one is neutral on block, as well as the one two, which is two highs. One two back one, also neutral. Two, or sometimes I say standing two, neutral. Three, neutral as well. Three two, neutral. Three two one, neutral. Kind of keeps the opponent close as well when you do three two one string. Four is also neutral, but has pushback, so it kind of presents that pressure situation into the uh, down four acid hand. Back forward two with meter is a pretty good option out of that as well. It's called reptilian elbow. Reptilian elbow is like plus five on block, so it's really the only time you're gonna be plus besides the mega ball at plus two. Um, there's also a setup, the two, four, three, one, and two ender that you know we'll talk about later. Standing one is neutral on hit, but let's talk about the strings that are plus on hit and how much. One, two, four is plus three. One, two is plus four. And three, two is plus five. Three alone is plus three on hit. 
and down four is like plus 12 versus a standing opponent so it allows for a little forward dash into the down three extending the pressure. It's good to note strings that are barely negative on block like the two four three is negative two and has decent pushback. Also you've got four three which avoids some pokes and it's only negative three. And finally back one is a decent low at only negative four but let me show you some pressure examples. So finally we are going to get into reptile setups. These mainly involve force ball variations, elbow dash, and also an OP flip. In most cases you'll want to finish combos with some sort of force ball, oki, or dashing. This means depending on the speed and distance of your opponent's wake up attacks you will release a variation of offense. The 3 2 1 ender setup is the one that usually ends in invisibility, or the last opposite force ball used, or a mega ball. Depending on the opponent's wake up options, you will want to choose an appropriate force ball or mega ball to release. In most cases, you will have enough time to do 3 2 1 invisibility, elbow dash, and then block even against some of the fastest wake ups in the game. In the 2, 4, 3, 1, and 2 setup, you're sacrificing some damage in order to stand your opponent up into some plus frames. This is kind of like a pressure setup. The 3, 2 sleeper setup is kind of just when people fall asleep on Reptile's offense. Uh, during the combo, you can do 3, 2 elbow dash and then jump over for another jump and punch. So it's fast force ball, 3, 2 slow force ball, 3, 2 elbow dash, jump over, repeat. And lastly we have the OP flip setup. This causes Reptile to flip backwards but travel forward causing wake up confusion for the opponent. So here we go, 3, 2, 1, back, forward, 2, neutral jump punch, forward, 2, back, 1, slide. It's the perfect timing, OP flip. You know it. The OP flip won't work on a wake up roll but let's just talk about wake ups for a second. So depending on the opponent's wake up attacks, you'll decide what move to release. So in this case, it's a slow force ball and against a wake up slide, you still have plenty of time. A roll wake up sometimes is not that useful because it puts you further back and causes even more time to block. One thing I didn't really go over was just general anti-air, which I like to do standing one into the fast force ball, but you can also do standing two. And that does it. Thank you everyone for watching my guide on the best reptile strategies for MK9. I hope you all have fun playing Mortal Kombat, especially this one.
Having defeated Shao Kahn, Reptile was feared by all. He forced Shang Tsung to regenerate his raptor race. The process took agonizing months, but soon Reptile heard the snarls of young broodlings throughout the flesh pits. Eventually, Shang Tsung had created an army of raptor warriors bred to serve Reptile. They stormed the realm, killing any Tarkatan, Shokan, or Centaur who opposed Reptile's rule. The intoxicating feeling of reuniting with his people blinded Reptile to the suffering of his former comrades. Reptile was home once more.